Researchers have now shed light on an astonishing fact. ExxonMobil, a titan in the oil and gas industry, had accurately predicted the warming effect of burning fossil fuels on our planet. ExxonMobil's ascent from the volatile beginnings of the oil market to becoming a colossal force, globally, is a tale. Marked by ambition, controversy, and pivotal roles in shaping our dependency on fossil fuels. The story of ExxonMobil starts with John D. Rockefeller, born in 1839 in Richford, New York. Despite a childhood of fluctuating fortunes, Rockefeller's strict upbringing and innate talent for finance laid the groundwork for what would become an empire. Early jobs and smart savings set the stage for his entry into the bustling world of business. Against the backdrop of the Industrial Revolution in Cleveland, Ohio, when oil was struck in Pennsylvania in 1859, igniting the modern petroleum industry, Rockefeller was quick to see the gold mine in refining and distribute rather than in precarious drilling. His partnership in an oil refinery in Cleveland with Maurice B. Clark and chemist Samuel Andrews was his first strategic play in the industry. Through ruthless efficiency and an uncanny knack for negotiation, Rockefeller began to consolidate control, favoring the stable business of refining over the gamble of extraction. By 1870, Rockefeller's enterprise had morphed into the standard oil companion name that would come to dominate the American oil scene. Under his guidance, Standard Oil crafted the trust model, a novel corporate structure that skirted state laws and centralized control, making Rockefeller's operations an unprecedented near monopoly. The Sherman Antitrust Act of 1890, however, marked the beginning of the end for Standard Oil's unbridled dominance, leading to its dissolution into 30 for companies in 1911. Yet, this breakup inadvertently forged Rockefeller's fortune further. As these entities, especially Standard Oil of New Jersey and Standard Oil of New York, later Exxon and Mobil, respectively, flourished independently. Exxon's evolution continued through the 20th century as it navigated political complexities abroad, especially in the Middle East, and vigorously expanded its technological prowess in oil extraction. However, its journey was not without setbacks. The Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989 underscored the environmental hazards tethered to oil exploration, tarnishing the company's image and sparking a surge in calls for tighter industry regulations. The 1999 merger between Exxon and Mobil to form Exxon Mobil Corporation was a strategic move reflective of Rockefeller's original visions of consolidation, albeit compliant with modern antitrust laws. This merger cemented Exxon Mobil's stature as an energy juggernaut on the global stage. Today, Exxon Mobil faces the dual challenges of adapting to a rapidly evolving energy landscape. Marked by a pressing shift towards sustainability and reconciling its traditional business model with increasing environmental consciousness. With climate change now at the forefront of global discourse, ExxonMobil finds itself at a crossroads. The decisions it makes and the actions it takes may not only chart its course, but also significantly influence global efforts to combat climate change. Will ExxonMobil pivot in time to align with a greener future, or will it linger in the shadows of its fossil-fueled past? Only time will unveil the impact of ExxonMobil's legacy on the planet's ecological fate.